absolute priority for Britain is to have a strategy for growth. But that strategy for growth has got to be based on the fact that the government can't spend its way to growth. Only the private sector can create growth. The government's absolute duty is to sort out the public finances. So we've come up with a targeted set of measures that will turn some of the government's previous proposals on infrastructure, on youth unemployment, on mid-sized businesses into reality and then a small number of new ideas in the tax arena which cost about £500 million a year. That's the best way to get growth. Liberate the private sector to grow and create jobs. We saw with Moody's negative outlook for the UK that the AAA sovereign rating cannot be taken for granted. So the Chancellor's first duty is to maintain fiscal austerity. So it's not good enough to say, if we've got a little more money in the bank, let's spend it. Let's drive down the deficit. But there are things the Chancellor can do. We've had government spending departments underspending in some areas. So we think the £500 million of package we've come up with is targeted and proportionate. And we'd spend that on helping infrastructure spend and on helping small firms grow faster.